Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna share with you my experience with the Falcon Eyes Pocket Light F7 Mark II. Stay tuned. If you are already following my channel since some time, you probably know that I like to work with small and portable lights because I tend to travel a lot. Until last month I was pretty happy with the Nanlite Power Tube 6C Mark II, but with those lights I had the problem that the battery life was extremely short I uh, could have run it for around uh, 50 minutes, maybe 40 minutes after one year of usage because the battery tend to degrade uh, pretty quickly, quickly. And I also had the problem that I couldn't uh, control the lights remotely with a smartphone. So because of these two problems, I was looking for something else available in the market. Luckily for me, Falcon Eyes sent me a copy of this light to test it and make a review. But this video is not sponsored by them and I'm totally free to say whatever I want about this light. So this is gonna be a totally honest uh, review about the light. I've been using this light for almost one month, both for my YouTube channel and for client jobs. And I can say that this light is pretty good. Considering that the market is pretty full of uh, portable bicolor and RGB lights, there are a few advantages about this light that you should consider. The first and the most important for me is the battery capacity because this light is able to, to run at maximum power for around 150 minutes and the battery capacity is 3800 milliampere and the output of the light is a 12 watt. Of course, 12 watt is not that much for outdoor usage, but for indoor usage, it's pretty good. The second thing that I love about this light is the ability to use it with a dedicated app for the smartphone. You can use it both with Apple and Android devices. In my case, I use an Android smartphone and I didn't have any problem or bugs while operating the light with the smartphone. Don't underestimate this feature of the remote control through the smartphone. I was thinking in the past that I don't really need this feature with the non-light power tube that I have, but in reality, if you don't want to walk all around changing the settings in the light while you are on set, having a dedicated app is going to save you a lot of time and uh, a lot of uh, steps. Another great feature of the app is the color picker uh, function. So you can upload an image in the software and you can match the color of the lights with the color of the image you have uploaded. And that's uh, pretty helpful if you already design the color palette of the final looking image of your video or movie. Another feature that I love about this light is the range of the bicolor light. So this light can go from 2500 Kelvin up to 9000 Kelvin. So it is pretty versatile and you can also change the tint of the light. So you can uh, change the magenta or the green shift. And that's pretty useful because uh, you can match this light basically with every light you're gonna work or you already have. So for example, if you work as a documentary filmmaker and you're going on a location thinking that you're probably gonna use the light available on that location, it is pretty simple to match this light with what you're gonna get. This light is featured with HSI and RGB mode. You can also select the L gel or R gel presets and there are also effects function. Talking about the effects page, I found the two minor bugs that are not really annoying me, but maybe they can be really annoying for you. So I think it's really important that I share this information with you. The first is the candle effect that I don't really use, but maybe you wanna use it. To my eyes, it looks like a kid is blowing a candle on a cake after a long run. So like uh, it's a candle that is turning off and turning on. I never saw a candle doing that, except when you try to blow candle. The second problem that I found is that after you play in the effect page and then you go back to the normal light controls, the light is sort of stuck with a certain setting. I don't know what it's about, but if you restart the light, everything will uh, be normal again. It is a really minor thing. You shouldn't bother anyone, but I think it's important to share it with you. I don't know if it's a problem of my specific unit or if it's a common problem. So please, if you have this problem or not, write down in the comment below uh, your experience so everyone has a better idea of what's going on. Yeah, down there, under the like and subscribe. Thanks guys. If you have any question, please write down in the comment area below. I'll be happy to solve your questions. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Ciao guys. <laughs>
I should work on that video about the Leica R35mm. I know, guys. It will come soon.